Do you ever feel like you don't know enough to help other people, that you're not an expert or you need to keep taking courses to keep learning so that you can finally help people and do work you love? I have or I receive emails frequently where people tell me that, well, they need to study or they need to learn more in order to help someone, when in fact, if you're looking for the feeling of finally knowing that you can now help someone, you'll be looking for a long time because the things that you can truly help someone with will feel mundane to you because they're familiar. When something is familiar to you and you know something extremely well, it'll feel mundane. It won't feel amazing or spectacular. For example, when I'm doing these videos, I'm simply sharing my experience and sometimes I have thoughts where I go, okay, this is too simple. But after doing this and helping people for, I've done it since 2009, it's just what I've noticed that my mind doesn't really know what's going on. I can, I look at the people I help and I notice that their lives are changing, they're finding their passion, following their passion, building a business or whatever they're doing, and I'm helping them. So in the early days I noticed, okay, this feels mundane to me. It doesn't feel important, yet when I, when I shared it with others, it made a difference. So that immediately told me that my mind doesn't really know what it's talking about. Just because I feel that what, what I know isn't good enough doesn't mean that it's true. Now, that doesn't mean that I stop learning, because I'm always learning. But if you're not helping someone because you don't think you're good enough, then maybe start helping someone with a problem you can solve and see if you're good enough, instead of just believing your mind. Don't just always believe your mind just because it comes up with fears and scenarios of what can go wrong. Instead, see if that's true in, li in real life. Is it true? Does it really work like that? And the more you do that, the more you'll realize that your mind is rarely right. Your mind is good for researching, comparing, and sharing, like I'm doing now, but it's not so good for navigating your life. So you have to start trusting your inner GPS and your inner authority. And... Yeah, when you're helping someone, you don't have to know everything. You don't have to be the all-knowing expert. As long as you don't tell someone that you know everything. I don't pretend to know everything. I simply share my experience. And the more I work with people, the more I learn, the, more I, the longer I live, the more I have to share. And that's going to keep on going for as long as I live, I hope. So being... Help, being able to help someone is about helping someone with one tiny problem. So it's not about helping them transform their whole life, at least not at first. Just find one tiny problem you can help someone with. And I'm sure you have something that you can help someone with. Look at your own story. Look at what you've experienced, because you've gone through something that others will benefit from. So start sharing your story, start sharing the struggles that you've overcome, fears that you've dealt with, and the problems that you've discovered solutions to. Start with tiny, tiny things, because you'll notice that people appreciate that, and that you have more to offer than you know. So, remember to click like, subscribe, visit my website for more on how to work privately with me, articles and other goodies. And I'll talk to you soon.